Welcome to a new video, all of you craft addicts. Because the carnivals are just around the corner. Today in Creative Minds, we're going to make a Lego costume of over 2 meters high. But don't worry, because all the templates are in the description box below. These are the materials you need to build this costume. Cardboard, half glue gun, with lots of glue sticks, a craft knife, scissors, pencils, or sharpie, lab paper board, compass, and lots of patience to continue. First, a levitation spell. Wingardium Leviosa. It doesn't work, so make sure to have plenty of glue stick. We begin with the base of our giant leg. And using the fury of the stormtrooper, we will apply as much glue as necessary to stick all the pieces together. Do not cheat yourself and assemble the leg piece by piece. We will put all the side, front, and row parts together, and allow plenty of time for the silicone glue to dry out. We take a piece of cardboard, and with the help of a ruler cut lots of stripes, but don't cut through completely. It will end up looking much like the Beetlejuice suit. And so my dears, this is how you can make a corrugated cardboard. Now we have finished the first part of our humongous leopard costume. Cut the remaining part of the corrugated cardboard and save it for later because you will need it. Cut the fat size of the person who will be wearing this cardboard giant. And at the same time, make a hole in the inside of the leg. And this is how it should look like. This is Creative Minds channel. We will start making the torso. In order to draw the piece that we will cut later, let's trace a line of 65 centimeters and another 55 centimeters with its center being at the previous line. And the rest is easy, you just have to join the dots. Exactly like when we were children. Let's put all the pieces together as if we were building a Lego. To cut the last of the torso pieces. Use a cutting board like this, which will make the cutting process much easier. But also, you can use an ordinary scissor to do the job. However, just for this piece, we will use our sharp craft knife. This will make you feel like a true king of the Seven Realms. And so, this is how it will look like once it is finished. To make the waist, we first cut a PVC tube to 20 centimeters. This is the piece that will connect both legs. Then, we will join these pieces together. There we have it. The Avengers Assemble. Finally, right here below the donut like cardboard. We have now finished the waist and we continue with the arm. 
at the base, make a hole which is where the arm will go through. Next glue the pieces that will form the arm frame. Then we will cover the shoulder with some corrugated cardboard. Cut to size to fit the hole completely and the remaining holes will be covered with some wrapping paper. To finish off the arm, make all the triceps, biceps and forearms out of cardboard. And with this we will have a bigger arm than far. And inside the hole we made earlier, you need to add an extra piece of cardboard, which will help to join the arm with the rest of the costume. We are doing very well my friends, we are halfway through. For the hand, draw a circle of 5 centimeters in diameter using the compass. And then another circle of 10 centimeters. Also draw a straight line in the middle, and another line just to cross that line in the middle. Make small marks of 4 centimeters from the outer line. And once we have that shape drawn, proceed to cut it. And this is how it should look like. Once all the pieces are cut out, assemble and glue them all together. Continue gluing everything to form our Destiny's brother. Finally, put the cylinder on the top. Last step, my friend. To make the head, get one of the head frame parts which will join the two rounded pieces. Take care, you must have the skill of a plastic surgeon. If your pulse was steady, you should have cut 32 of these pieces in total. Now we need lots of patience because we are going to stick them to the other pieces of cardboard. I know I'm more hairy than Chewbacca, but do not let that distract you. Once again, use the corrugated cardboard to cover the skull of this titan. And this is how it should look. If necessary, cut all the protruding parts of this head structure. You need to make another one of this piece and join them together with corrugated cardboard. Put the crest on the top and draw the eyes and the mouth on the black paperboard. Draw the face expressions you like the best, it is your personal choice. I drew a happy face to make it more intriguing to my enemies. This is how the head should look like.
Remember, there is a link in the description of the video with all the measurements to build this costume. Also, at the end of the video, there is a link with more Creative Land stuff. It is naked, but leave your comments down below if you would like us to make in the suit. If you like the video, drop a like. And do not forget to subscribe by pressing the bell, like the caption bell, to never miss an upload. Next week, we will bring you more exciting stuff. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one. I love Hobbits.